guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and we're excited to show you a tour of Windows Mobile 6.5, or at least the beta of Windows Mobile 6.5 that comes from XDay developers. This beta has some of the features, but not all of the features that uh, will be out in Windows Mobile 6.5 when devices start shipping with it later this year. Um, I don't recommend that you try this on your device because it's still a little unsteady and, and it doesn't work completely, and if you don't get the ROM update right, you may um, brick your device. So let me take you through this here. The home screen, as we've seen many times before, comes right from Windows Mobile Standard, which is the non-touch screen of Windows Mobile. So we have this kind of sliding panel that jumps around on the screen. A similar concept here, although it's slightly different. What happens is that there is a uh, there's a little window in the center, and it doesn't move. And so when you slide your finger along the screen, what you're actually doing is moving the background. So if we slide the background down to Messages, we can see we have no new messages. Um, we can go to the time and swipe our finger to the side, although nothing happens there. We can go to voicemail and favorites. It'll launch Pocket Internet Explorer 6 Mobile. Uh, we can see our next appointment. We can add a new appointment by tapping in, you know, stuff that you would find on um, Windows Mobile Standard home screen. Okay, so that is the, they're still calling it a today screen, by the way. They may change that uh, later on. The bottom bar and top bar are transparent, which is really cool because you get to see more of the wallpaper in the background. And uh, it's likely that Windows Mobile 6.5 will ship which with a uh, pretty nice wallpaper, as we're seeing with Windows 7 and Windows Vista compared to Windows XP at a lot nicer wallpaper. Okay, so let's go into the start menu, and of course the start menu doesn't exist anymore. You press the start button and you're taken right to the honeycomb. Now you may be wondering, why did Microsoft decide to go with this scrollable honeycomb interface? Well, as Adam Lane described on Pocket Now, uh, the honeycomb shape, or the, uh, I guess that would be a hexa hexagon shape, uh, provides a lot of surface area, making for very easy finger-friendly operation compared to the iPhone. And I'm not knocking the iPhone, um, but it's kind of an improvement over the square iconic interface on, the, on Windows Mobile 6.5. And I like the honeycomb. I agree that it makes it very finger-friendly. So what we can do is scroll through uh, the honeycomb, and the scrolling's a little slow right now because this is a beta, but you can kind of get the point that it would be really easy to find a program in this list. Now what you can do, you can move a program to the top of the honeycomb if you use it a lot, like File Explorer. You tap and hold and you click Move to Top, and it jumps. And because this is a beta, it doesn't always work. Let's try it with Calculator. Move to Top. Uh, it didn't work here, but you get the point. So we can go into other parts of this uh, of the menu. If we go into Settings, Settings is no longer um, a, a separate screen. It's really part of the honeycomb. It's just another section of the honeycomb. And what we can do is we can scroll through all of our settings. We can actually bring one of these items to the main honeycomb. So I just clicked Add to Favorites. So now if I close out and I go back in, we see Communication Manager added to the favorite part of the honeycomb interface. So the honeycomb is customizable. You can move things around, which is good. You can put your top most used programs right on the top so that you uh, don't have to scroll down to the bottom. Let me show you something else about Windows Mobile 6.5. I'm going to go into File Explorer. And here's something that you can notice right away is that the highlighting is kind of 3D. Not that big of a deal, of course, but I think it's a nice visual touch. Also, there's a new physics engine that allows for a really good flick scrolling. Um, at least improved upon from uh, previous versions of Windows Mobile. And so, and we also get the little Vista spinning, uh, spinning waiting cursor. So we can go to the top. And flick scrolling works quite well. You can stop it with your finger, flick faster. And of course, the scroll bars on the side are faster now, so you can easily grab them with your finger and slide that around. Um, also, all of these soft menus have been overhauled. So if we press Menu, we kind of get this hovering um, menu pop-up. And what we can do is we can click the down arrow to get to the other entries, or we can actually flick our finger up and kind of carousel through all of the options. And it's really easy to just choose any option here from uh, the soft key menus now that they're a lot bigger uh, on the screen. And of course the X button in the upper right corner is a lot bigger too, making it more apparent that to get out of the screen you press the X button up there and you're taken back to the main screen. 
And of course, Windows Mobile 6.5 has a new lock screen. Although this lock screen is still the beta, it's not actually what we're going to find on the final shipping version. The shipping version will have a lock button here, and then you can actually slide downward and see um, if you have a new, any new calls, new messages, new emails, and then you can slide the respective slider to the right and it will take you directly to the SMS application or the email application, depending on whether you have new messages. So a great way to save some time. Uh, but this beta just has a simple little slide to the right lock mechanism up at the top. So that's pretty much it for the Windows Mobile 6.5 beta. Uh, like I said, this has some of the features, but not all of the features of the upcoming Windows Mobile 6.5 uh, release. And of course, to keep abreast of the latest Windows Mobile 6.5 news, keep it to pocketnow.com or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.